Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're going to be going over what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Starting off with the car sitting here behind me, this is the Dubashi Wagner, and it is discounted this week by 40% off. And this car is already a really good bang for your buck supercar. It goes for $1,535,000, and this week it's going for just over $900,000, which is pretty insane. This thing's really, really good, guys. It has super high downforce, a great top speed, not a whole lot in the way of customization, unfortunately, which does kind of suck, but it is a very good all-rounder as far as supercars go. So definitely look into the Wagner this week. It is discounted and it is found on Legendary Motorsport. We're gonna touch on this a little bit more later, but for right now, we're gonna talk about how to make some money this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and we do have a couple of sort of decent ways of doing so. First of all, G's cash is on triple money and triple RP for the remainder of this week, so make sure you guys are doing those. We also have the Juggernaut Adversary Mode on Triple Money and Triple RP, so definitely check that out if you're a lower level especially. And under Community Jobs, we have Select New Triple Money and Triple RP Jobs, so check those out if you guys are interested as well. Now we do have one more thing going on this week, and that is double speed on salvaging within the salvage yard business. So when you tow the cars to the salvage yard, they usually take 48 minutes if you got the upgrade to be salvaged and for you to then get paid for them. However, this week, it's only gonna be taking 24 minutes if you have the upgrade. And if you don't have the upgrade, it's gonna be taking 48 minutes. So pretty good time efficiency wise. Um, not the greatest way of making money, but it can be kind of a good bonus if you're willing to spend some time to just salvage cars back and forth. And with that, you can actually make a decent amount of money, I would say. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested, if you have a salvage yard. Now, of course, we have to talk about the discounts that we can see on the websites. So let's go ahead and get into those. Starting off under the money and services tab and under the Dynasty 8 real estate website, uh, you can actually find the 50 car garage that sits on Eclipse Boulevard right up here somewhere. Uh, it is going to be 30% off this week. Now, unfortunately, I can't seem to show it to you guys because I've already purchased it and customized it, um, which is kind of annoying. But it's that 50 car garage with uh, five different levels of 10 slots for garage spaces. Um, it's a pretty good garage to have. It's not my favorite. I don't really go there that often, but it is kind of good to have. So if you guys are interested, it is 30% off plus upgrades and modifications to it and everything like that. So do keep that in mind. Now we're going to find the majority of our discounts on Legendary Motorsport this week. The first of those is on the Dubachi Champion. This thing is an Omani Tech capable supercar in Grand Theft Auto Online, but it looks great and everything like that, but uh, don't be fooled because it's not the greatest car ever. In fact, I don't think it's the best Imani Tech car that you can buy, especially for the money. This thing is very, very expensive, coming in at $2,250,000 when on sale, and at regular price, $3,750,000. So very expensive car and you're not really getting a whole lot in return. You can take four RPGs in this thing or four homing missiles. It can, however, put front mounted machine guns on it and it does have bullet resistant windows that can take 15 shots from an assault rifle on top of the oil slick proximity mine dropper as well as the missile lock on jammer and the armor plating upgrade that you can do to it. Um, it's a good car, but it doesn't have a lot in the way of customization and for the price, I feel like it's kind of unjustified. While it is on sale, I would say if you are wanting one, now is definitely the time to purchase one. But if you're watching, but if you're wanting to get one when it's not on sale, I would say don't go for it. While it's on sale, it's like semi justifiable to me, but just be advised, there are probably better cars that you can get for the money, at least in my opinion. Now scrolling further down on Legendary Motorsport, we will find the Dubachi Wagner that we've already touched on going for $921,000 this week. By the way, you will get a special t-shirt uh, for purchasing the vehicles marked with the special t-shirt sort of icon um, on the website. So do keep that in mind. Like I said, the Wagner, absolutely awesome performance, especially for the price. I mean, even for 1.5, this is not a bad car, but for only $920,000, you can't go wrong with a Wagner. So definitely pick one of these things up, guys. It is an absolutely awesome car. Check it out for sure. And on the Benny's website, we also have the Dubachi Spectre discounted this week by 40% off. So pretty good discount on the Spectre. You can do crazy stuff with it at Benny's. It does have a Benny's upgrade. I must tell you the stock vehicle doesn't have much in the way of customization but when you take it to Benny's you are able to do a lot more to it so do keep that in mind for sure it's a pretty cool car it's definitely one that I would say you can't really go wrong with purchasing for you know under 400 grand it's pretty hard to go wrong with that so 
pick up a Spectre this week if you guys are interested in it. It is a pretty cool car, I must say. So unfortunately, those are all the discounts I can show you on the websites. We gotta go to the casino, we gotta go to the car meet, and then all the dealerships and talk about the vehicles that are available this week in online, so let's head over there. Now within the casino this week, guys, we have the Vapid Retinue Mark II available to be won off of the podium. It is a pretty cool vehicle, it's got some really good customization, some pretty great performance on top of that as well. Definitely something that I would look into if you guys are interested. Definitely try to come here and win it. And within the LS car meet, we have the Fister Astron available to be won this week as the prize ride. And in order to do this, you are of course going to have to complete three races and place top three for four days in a row, which is not a terribly hard challenge. Uh, if you got some friends, you can definitely do this with them and you guys can get yourselves a free Fister Astron. It is one of the better SUVs in Grand Theft Auto Online. So it is definitely something that I would look into trying to win. It's got some great customization, really good performance, looks good. Can't really go wrong with the Fister Astron, that's for sure. Definitely pick this thing up if you guys can. As far as the vehicles go that are available within the LS car meet this week, we have three removed ones. We have the Dubachi Masakura race car over on the left. We have the Dubachi 770 here in the middle. And of course, we also have the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic over here on the right. All three of these are removed. However, one is discounted and that is the Dubachi 770 here in the middle, going for just under $500,000. Regularly, this thing would cost just under 700,000. So 30% off, you can't really go wrong with it. The 770 doesn't have a ton in the way of customization, but it also doesn't have like nothing. It's a pretty good handling car, pretty good performance generally. The Dubachi Masakura, on the other hand, also has a decent amount of customization. I'd say a little bit more than the 770. Not much though still, so do keep that in mind. The Masakura though is one of the best looking cars in the entire game, but if you do buy the race car, just know that you cannot remove the livery from it. It has to have the livery, so do keep that in mind. It's got some pretty awesome racing modifications and stuff though, so I would definitely look into getting it, that's for sure. Next up, we gotta talk about the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic. Tons of customization, as well as being one of the fastest sports classic cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing actually puts up a pretty good fight in the sports classic category, and it's a great looking vehicle. There's really nothing to go wrong with the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic. This thing is absolutely awesome. You guys should definitely check it out if you guys haven't already. It's just an awesome car. If I had to buy one of the three, I'd make it the 770, but then I'd immediately follow that up with the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic and then the Masaka race car. If you can get all three, I would recommend getting all three. However, we do have some more on sale at Simeon's, so don't buy them just yet. Within Simeon's dealership, we have more Dubachis available. We have the Dubachi JB700. This is not the weaponized variant though, so don't purchase it hoping that those guns are gonna work because they won't. You have to buy the one with the weapons off of Warstock Cash and Carry, so do keep that in mind. We also have the Dubachi Masakra, regular, no race car. So if you want no livery on it, here it is. It's also cheaper than the Masako race car as well, so do keep that in mind. Pretty awesome vehicle. One of my favorites in Grand Theft Auto Online. Definitely one to pick up for sure. We also have the Dubachi Exemplar here. Not my biggest favorite um, as far as the Dubachi lineup goes. The Exemplar is a four-seater, which is pretty cool, but beyond that, it has no customization, so you can kind of avoid it, honestly. It's not that great of a car unless you want a four-door Aston Martin. Now, we also do have the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic, which does have a little bit of customization, so do keep that in mind. It's pretty good. Goes for $130,000, which is not bad. Um, overall, pretty cool car. It is, of course, removed. So is the Dubachi Rapid GT Cabrio or convertible. Um, this thing has a little bit of customization, not as much as the uh, regular GT. So I would definitely go for the uh, Rapid GT over the Rapid GT convertible. All of these vehicles in here are removed, except for the JB700, I do believe. Actually, you know what? I think it is removed as well. The weaponized one isn't though, and that's the one you want. So don't even buy this thing. I would avoid it entirely. But yeah, pretty cool vehicles at Simeon's dealership this week. <sighs> um, yeah, luxury autos, yep. Within the chop shop, the Zentorno Gallivanter Baller STD and the Canis Seminole Frontier are available to be stolen this week. For the Zentorno, you are going to have to complete the McTony robbery. For the Gallivanter Baller STD, you will need to complete the Duggan robbery, and for the can of Seminole Frontier, you will need to complete the cargo ship robbery. So there you have it guys, it's definitely Dubachi week in Grand Theft Auto Online. Last, of course, we have to talk about the time trials this week. So let's go ahead and get into those. Your RC Bandito time trial for today is Construction Site 1. Your Junk Energy time trial for today is Sewer System. Your regular time trial 
is Power Station and your HSW time trial is Ron Alternates, which starts right here and it ends at Elysian Island right here at the very, very end of the dock. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That has been it for what to buy and what to avoid this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you learned something, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.